Hello, my name's uh, Alexis from Hotspotty, and I'm excited to show you a new feature of ours. It's a status monitoring and notifications feature. So I'm here in a, a, our demo workspace. Uh, I'll take us actually to our workspace. Uh, I've decided to use uh, three uh, different hotspots to demonstrate this new feature because they, these three hotspots all have different statuses. Um, so let's have a little look at the first hotspot. So what most uh, users might be familiar with is uh, having um, blockchain data demonstrate the uh, status of the hotspot. So in this instance, it's uh, either online or offline, whether it's relayed or not, and whether it's synced. Uh, another example here also sh shows when it's syncing. And if you hover over this infographic, uh, it shows in this case, this one's been syncing since 14th of December, five hours ago with 322 blocks remaining. So this gives you some uh, extra insight into, um, into the status of uh, the sinking of the, the hotspot. Um, the difficulty is with the blockchain data, uh, the way that the, the blockchain propagates can mean that this data is uh, out of date via, for between hours and up to, to days. Um, so we created a real-time status check uh, the alternative way to do this is to connect via Bluetooth to your hotspot, but that you know, requires that you're locally on site and uh, is often quite difficult to do. So this real-time status check is a, a very smart way of uh, understanding the, 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 the status of your hotspot in a live fashion. So let's, uh, let's get to it. So let's run a status check for this particular hotspot. Just to give you a, a little bit of a understanding about uh, how this this test works. Um, the, the Helium blockchain uses a peer-to-peer -peer gossiping uh, system to uh, gossip blocks to uh, other hotspots. Um, and we run several miners in the cloud that contain all of the information for all of the, the hotspots uh, on the Helium network, which allows those miners to, to ping other um, hotspots such as uh, this one and, and your one, and, and all of the hotspots of the on the Helium blockchain. So let's have a let's have a look at this now. So this uh, real-time status check has finished and you can see that it's connected to, um, to this hotspot. It's successful, it's not relayed. And uh, we have here a, a ping. In this instance, it's 141 milliseconds, which is uh, very healthy. Um, we actually ping, we actually provide two forms of ping. The first one is a miner, and it's the most reliable source of information. This shows that um, this is the most current IP address of the, the hotspot miner. Uh, in this case, we've got five of five pings, and it's all succeeded, and that 141 milliseconds is the average of those five pings. We also provide a, a ping for the, the blockchain. Uh, the blockchain IP address is uh, often the same as the miner IP address, but it can potentially be also old and stale like this information that we discussed here. So if the blockchain um, status uh, ping fails, but the miner succeeds, then it's, it's, it, there's nothing for you to worry about. It's really for a, a sort of diagnostics and troubleshooting perhaps. Some cases uh, uh, it's good to know that the, the blockchain IP address should basically update to the, the miner IP address in time in a similar way to that this blockchain data can sometimes be out of date. And it often happens when uh, the ISP changes uh, your IP address and it just simply doesn't catch up with the, the minor IP address. So anyway, this is a good example of one that's uh, working. Perhaps we can move on to, to one that has had some difficulty. So this is another example and you can see the blockchain data. It clearly says that it's online and that it's not relayed, etc. But actually our live uh, status checker has indicated that it's likely offline. You can see that the, there's no response to the pings. Um, we've uh, we've uh, decided that this uh, hotspot is uh, offline on the basis that there hasn't been any activity for the last five days. So we've suggested this is this was offline. But as you can see here, it clearly tells, tells you it is uh, online. And if you actually go to the Helium Explorer here, this is uh, the same hotspot that we're looking at. It's a tar tartan starfish. And again, you can see here clearly, right? It says that it's uh, it's online and that it's sinking. But if you go to the activity of this hotspot, you can actually see uh, the last uh, activity was five days ago. So this is just uh, further demonstrating how powerful this feature is to actually understand uh, what's going on 
with your hotspot, despite what the blockchain might say. So that is uh, describing uh, everything to do with our uh, live status check. But we also have a, an inbuilt um, port checker test. So uh, let's go to another hotspot. So you can see in this instance that the, uh, the hotspot says that it's relayed. Now, uh, it's important to um, port forward um, certain ports in order to, uh, let's actually just open up this port tester. So here, this, this, uh, this, this actually allows you to open the port tester from, from the screen. So if it's relayed, it, it automatically opens this port tester for you. And uh, it tells you basically to forward port TCP 44158 in your router. And uh, you can run a port test and uh, let's do that. So you can see in this case, it's got a green tick, it's live. In the same way that the blockchain can take time to uh, update the status of whether it's relayed or not. Um, if this test succeeds, it means that um, it is successful and your port has been redirected, despite what the blockchain says. It can take uh, as little as a few hours and sometimes up to you know days to for this to get reflected actually in the blockchain. But this uh, this tester actually uh, does all of the the work for you and the automation and gives you all of the instructions. So um, this is a good overview of the the status um, checker that we've we've implemented. Um, now to go on to the monitoring and notification system that we've built. So we uh, let's go into the workspace. So if you go here and uh, let's go into the settings of our workspace and then you go into notifications and here you can see that you can turn on online and offline the status of the, the notifications for your workspace. So in this instance it is already on but I'm just going to toggle it off and toggle it back on again. So what this does is uh, it at all of the hotspots that you're in your that you've added to your workspace, it will send you an email uh, a maximum of one time a day, and it will check the the status of the the blockchain to uh, indicate if your hotspot is gone from offline to online and online to offline as well. So uh, it does it does it both ways. Um, and uh, that pretty much is, uh, wraps up uh, this demonstration. We hope that you like uh, the features that we've brought to you. Any feedback is, uh, is obviously welcome. Catch you another time. Bye-bye now.